Hi everyone, Alec from Entopology. Today I want to talk to you about heat dissipation for lighting and specifically how we can create heat sinks and really exploit the implicit kernel that Entopology uses to make really complicated geometries easy. You know, this uh, doesn't need to be landing lights like I have in this picture here. Uh, it can also be for consumer goods or automotive grade lighting fixtures. So let's, uh, let's take a look at our outline for today. So one thing that we have here on the left is a aerospace grade landing light. And usually these are really, um, have a hard working life. They're very reliable. We know exactly how much power they're going to be consuming. And we also know what the small um, sort of working area is that we have to design the design space, if you will, uh, for this package. And when we start looking at sectors outside of aerospace, right, you know, you can go to motorsport or even just commercial um, headlights. And we have halogen, we have HID, and we want to start exploiting a small footprint and what we can do to dissipate heat in that space. So what we're going to do in NTOF is use our kind of best practices from design for additive, right, to make something that we can actually manufacture at the end of the day. But we really want to increase our cooling, right, so that's going to mean we're going to have more surface area, we're also going to have a lot thicker features for thermal mass and heat dissipation, but maybe we want something to be self-supporting so this is less post-processing down the line. And then finally, right, we want to use some of NTOP's pre-made blocks to be able to make our lights a little bit simpler. So let's take a look at the two blocks that I'm going to have you guys pay extra attention to today. And that's going to be with these cool transfer functions that I'm going to be using, right? And I'm also going to be using a ramp and you're probably familiar with ramps if you've already worked in end topology before or maybe seen some of my colleagues end top lives. Uh, just the other day, I watched Alejandro's end top live on landing gear optimization. And this is, uh, you know, kind of what we're working on in the same area where we need to package something that probably fits alongside that landing gear for lighting. And we want to be able to have this footprint really exploit surface area be lightweight, and something that is good for those is using, you know, our field-driven design geometries, or also we can use our lattices. And something that we're going to use on the right-hand side here is a periodic lattice body beta block that we have in NTOP, and it's going to give us some really cool uh, sort of remapping and movement of geometries that we put in. So let's go take a look at what that looks like, and we can get right into the software. So I've just opened up NTOP here, and you can see our heat dissipation for lighting fixture in Entopology. And something that's pretty cool is we've broken this up into two primary bodies. So we have these unwarped fins here, and these are in it just you know a pure extrusion. And what I want to do is use our ramps and transform box that I just showed a brief preview of. And I want to change the angle. So I'm, you know, literally taking an extrusion and starting to add a twist to it. And what we do and see from this is we get this nice twisted fin body. And you'll also see at the top here I have some input. So we can change the fin count. We don't necessarily need to have this many fins. You know, maybe you have a spec that you're designing to. We can change that quickly. I also have set a variable to change our fin thickness. So in this case, we're at about, you know, not 0.3 millimeters. Um, this is an absolute value, so this, uh, this can be changed to anything. Um, we also have an arc count, which I'm going to get to in a second, but that's pretty slick, right? And that's going to get into with our periodic lattice body beta block. Um, so let's just take a quick look at the field that's driving this. And as I said, you know, one nice thing with NTOP is right now we're looking kind of behind the scenes, right? Nothing's a, a black box in, in NTOP. We can always it represents something with a mathematical function or maybe it's a formula and we can use that to drive our geometries. So I'm just going to drag this arrow down and you'll see it's changing the direction a little bit and this is our angle change. Now our angle change is what's you know warping those what were once straight fins and we're doing that to change the angular coordinates of the fins. Um, this is pretty slick, and I could see this having a lot of other applications outside of just heating fixtures. And what I think it's nice is when I pair it with our periodic lattice body, 
right, that's when we start to get these really slick looking features right in the green here. And these, we'll close out of this field, these features, right, what's actually happening is what we're seeing is, you know, uh, a cylinder with these small inlets and kind of inserts in here. Um, but if we, you know, break it down into what's happening, what we're doing is I have an actual little box here. And in this hollow uh, box, right, I have a cylinder that's taken out of it. And I want to use the cylindrical cell map to sort of shape and form this to my geometry and also make it work for the design space that I have. So let's take a look at what's happening. And we see this kind of complicated box, but it's pretty slick if we just look head on to it. Right, I have these different cells. And this is what arc count can uh, start to bring back into reference as a variable. But with each of these cells, I'm taking that body I just showed you, and I'm going to manipulate it so it fits each of the cells. So what we're left with, right, is it's skewed and kind of formatted to each of the cell sizes. Now we can change the cell height. We could change maybe the radius of this. I'm using a cylinder as a volume. You don't have to use a cylinder as a volume. Um, but what's really nice now is that when I go to show you what it looks like, is that in each of these, we have that skewed geometry. And this is going to be really helpful for us because we actually want these to, one, let air flow, um, increase our surface area, but stay inside of this, you know, bounding box that we've created. Um, and what is nice is when we start to tie these geometries together, is I'm able to just do some simple Boolean union. And this is going to change it so I can have, you know, go from having these multiple disks to taking some of our old uh, thin body. And I can add some nice transitions here that are not only just going to make the design look really slick, but it's going to make it so I have something that's self-supporting. Um, and if you've worked and added it before, we can make a lot of really cool geometries, but at the end of the day, you can't always build them. And this is one of those geometries that just a little extra work here, um, we can start to make and picture how we'd print this in our machine, right? So I have these nice arches. If I look normal here, these nice arches here are going to be self-supporting. Um, the other thing is we want to be able to keep these sort of inlets that we have to dissipate heat. And again, this is just an example. Um, you'd obviously have an LED light at the end of this fixture, and we can make that. But I just kind of wanted to get your eyes and mind going on what you could make in NTOP and sort of a, a tease to get you to open up the file and look in to see what we're doing. Um, the, the next thing that I want to point out is that maybe there's a parameter you want to change. And we have these variables here. So I said uh, one already, which is our arc count. Uh, the other thing that we could do is, you know, maybe we could change our unit cell parameter. And what this is going to do is change the thickness here. So let's just bring them up into input so we have a nice clean file. Let's just try making it two. And what I expect to happen when I change this to two is that NTOP's going to rerun my through my workflow. And it's going to show me what a little bit thicker of the periodic lattice body um, the unit cell parameters look like. So I have this on highest res, and you can see it's rendering right here. Um, but now we'll see, you know, no voids. Now we'll have that nice solid piece in between. And, you know, maybe we don't want the heat to dissipate. So, yeah, it's exactly what happened. These are a little bit thicker now, but we're still constrained to that bounding box, which is nice. And, you know, we can keep on making changes here. And I just, I just did that live, and that took, what, a few seconds. So, yeah, I want you to look into this file. I want you to play with some of the variables that we have up here. And really, just uh, think of cool applications for using N-topology. I think the periodic lattice body and doing some of these uh, cylindrical cell map and remapping is really uh, a powerful feature that we have in NTOP. And I also think what we're doing with this new angle right here, uh, where we have a transport that's going from a pure extrusion to angular coordinates is pretty slick um, and something to keep in mind with your next designs. So uh, we want to hear from you. If you have questions, please reach out. If you have suggestions, maybe you're uh, 
a designer for LED lights, maybe you're a designer that's working in aerospace, um, please approach us and talk to us about how we could, one, maybe make this model even better, or two, uh, maybe there's something that you want to print, maybe there's something that you want a metal injection mold. Um, you know, the possibilities are pretty endless with NTOP and also the manufacturing side of things. So please reach out. We'd love to hear from you. My contact information is in the second slide. And, uh, yeah, take a look at this, this nice file and some of the other NTOP lives that my colleagues have put together. Thank you. Bye-bye.